All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale and review of this. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Kam Yen Jan, I don't know, Chinese style sausage. All right, so that's the brand. Um, the sausage is in Vietnamese, Lap Sung. Uh, they have lots of different ways they say it. I think some Chinese they call it Lap Chong, and I don't know, they call it different ways. Okay, anyways, Chinese sausage, thirteen ninety nine. Normally it was three dollars off, so eleven dollars for this two pack. So let's take a closer look. Okay. This is good until September 11th, 2025. Cook well before serving. Refrigerate after opening. Okay. Ingredients are pork, pork fat, sugar, soy sauce, water, wheat, soybeans, salt, and alcohol. Then there's salt, grain alcohol, sodium nitrite, and sodium uh, erythorbate in beef collagen casings. All right. So here you go. Nutrition facts. 12 servings per container. Serving size is one sausage. Calories, 120 per serving. Okay, <clears throat> total fat, 7 grams, 9%. Oh, so each sausage is one serving, okay? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, there's like about 12 or 13 sausages in one pack, okay? Anyways, here you can see uh, 7 grams of fat, 9%, 2 grams saturated fat, 10%, uh, 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 2%, sodium, 520 milligrams, 23%, um, five grams of carbs two percent dietary uh fiber none and there's four grams of added wait what total sugar zero includes four grams added sugar that means the total should be four all right anyways four grams added sugar four percent ten grams of protein um and then you got seven milligrams of calcium zero percent no iron no vitamin d and then 208 milligrams of potassium four percent okay net weight one pound five ounces 21 ounce all right, January food core. <laughs> okay, cooking instructions. So it says place sausage in a dish, set above water in pot, place lid uh, over pot, heat water till boiling, keep it boiling for 15 minutes, serve in slices or cubes as preferred. Okay, so this one, they're basically telling you to steam it. So you're supposed to put it in um, uh, a dish that's above water. Okay, so it's not like in the water. But yeah, so there's two different, two separate packs, and the nutrition facts is just for one one pack. Okay. Anyways, the way I cook this, I actually have it sitting in water. Um, I actually just throw it in my rice cooker as my rice is cooking. Um, there's a lot of ways you can cook this. This goes well in like steam bows if you like want to make those kind of white fluffy bows. Um, those are really good. I like these wrapped in that, um, the kind where the outer layer kind of peels off and then you have that like fluffy white bow. All right. And then they also go good in like a sticky rice. Um, there's a Chinese dish where they chop up this with like mushrooms and other things. Um, that's really good as well. Uh, what else? You can use it in a lot of things. They also make like a souffle kind of egg thing where it's kind of like eggs with water. Then you put some salt, pepper, and maggi sauce or soy sauce, whichever you want with like this stuff cut up in it. Usually I just cut it in little circles. Like you just cut them that way. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut this open. So first I'm going to separate the two. Too bad they don't have a thing where it's like easily separated. It's like you have to cut it. They should put some preparations here, but I guess they figured maybe people will be confused and separate it uh, when they go to buy it. Oops, I'm going to end up opening both of them at the same time. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish cutting this apart. Okay. So, okay. They're, they're both still sealed. Good. Okay, anyways, we're going to cut this open. As you can see, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 13 in one pack, so they actually give you like an extra. I don't know. Sometimes they're like bigger or smaller. So anyways, what we're going to do, we're going to slit this open, and I'm going to put some in the water with the rice that I'm cooking right now. Okay, so you can see you just slit it, and then it lets air in, and then you can go ahead and kind of open this up. I would wrap this in like um, or put this in a Ziploc bag if you're not going to cook it all at once. They are really oily and greasy. Oh, and I like the smell. <laughs> it reminds me of the bow 
with this stuff in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop like three or four of them in there in the rice pot since they're kind of attached two at a time. They're kind of like linked together. So if I pull one up, you can see they're linked. Actually, they're not, it's cut. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just put like three of them in the rice pot and then I'll show you how, it, how I have it cook. All right, so I def decided to just put four of them in there. Okay, so basically it's just in there with the rice. Close it up, have it on rice cook. And once the rice is done, it's ready to eat. So I'll see you guys when it's ready. All right, so I decided to make the egg souffle as well. So we got a bunch of eggs. I'm gonna do half egg, half water, okay? Um, I haven't actually done this before, so let's see how it turns out because I'm just doing whatever I think is <laughs> right. So I hope it turns out good. All right, we got one egg, two eggs. And it doesn't matter if you crack the egg yolks because we are going to be just scrambling it all together. Okay. Three egg. The reason I'm putting it into a measuring cup is so I can see how much egg there actually is. Although you can just eyeball it. You don't have to like exact it. All right. Four eggs. But I'm going to make it to where I can kind of like show you guys so you can copy it if you want. And if it turns out good then yeah also normally you would put like green onions or you can even i guess use chives in there but i'm not going to use any of that because i'm going to be lazy and i didn't go to the store to get any of that stuff so we're just going to do egg water salt pepper and maybe some maggi sauce or fish sauce or not fish <laughs> soy sauce okay come on get out egg get out here we go all right, this is 10 eggs. You don't have to follow, you don't have to use the same many eggs, obviously. You just need to have about the same amount of water as eggs, or at least that's what I'm gonna do. So if it turns out good, if you want, you can just use one egg and just make it have double the amount of liquid in there, okay? Uh, but you'll see what 10 eggs looks like. Looks like that. Okay, and the 10 egg liquid measurement has, oops gone up to about two cups it's a little bit less than two cups i'm gonna fill it up to the four cup mark stir it all together and yeah i'll see you guys in a bit all right so here are the eggs i got some water in here and actually let's go ahead and scramble this first just to make it easier so okay just do this to blend it all up obviously you can use a whisk or whatever works for you you can use chopsticks if that's what you want to use right whatever works for you Okay, we're basically just mushing it all up and mixing the egg yolks with the egg whites. Stir it all together. Okay, and there you go. Yeah, we basically have about two cups. You don't have to mix it completely. If you have like some bits of egg whites that are still like clumped together like that on its own, it's okay. All right, just depends how you like it. All right, so let's go ahead and add water. Hopefully I got enough. I didn't quite measure this. I might need to go grab some more, actually. That's like perfect. Okay, there's a little bit extra, so I'm gonna dump this out, I'll be back. All right, we're back, so let's now mix the eggs with the water, okay? And you gotta be careful, because you don't wanna overflow it now. Okay, so basically you're just thinning out the eggs so it's lighter and fluffier. And when you cook it and the water starts boiling, it will basically steam the eggs and fluff it up. Okay. How long you cook it, I don't know the exact time. I just watch it as it's cooking. And then you just want to make sure it's not gloopy in the middle. Okay. There you go. Looks all mixed together. Okay. Now we got to cut up some of the Chinese sausage. We'll set this aside. Take this little bowl here, and you can put as many as you want or as little as you want, okay? Let's go ahead and put in like five, four or five, okay? Your choice, do whatever you want. All right, and we're gonna cut these into little circles. It's gonna be tough to do this in this bowl, but let's see, all right? Oreo's kinda curious, he wants to eat some. So basically, you just cut them into these little circles, okay? Just like this. All right, just like that, just like that. So if you wanna make it faster, obviously you can stack them together and do it. I'll do that in a bit. 
but for now I'm just going to do one. Okay. It's best to do this on a chopping board or something, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, I'll actually go get a paper plate to do this so it's easier um, and show you. Okay, but yeah, you can do this on a chopping board, but it is really greasy, so you're going to have to like wash that thing with a lot of soap and warm water. All right. Oreo's kind of interested. He wants to eat this stuff, but no, he's not allowed to. Okay, let me go get a plate and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've got a paper plate here. Okay, so now we'll get all these. And I think five is actually way too many, but it's fine. All right, so just hold them all together and just cut it like this. Okay. All right. Doesn't matter if they're perfect, it's fine. Okay, just cut it up. Oreo, this has too much salt for you, okay? And other stuff. I don't know if it has stuff that you can't eat. Okay, so we're just going to cut them all up to these little circles here, just like that. Too round. Yeah, normally I don't cut like four of them at a time, but <laughs> it's fine. All right. Oreo's like, I smell it. Give me some. Be careful not to slice your fingers off. They might look like the sausages, but don't cut them. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, this is way more than enough. I think I would have been okay with just three. Let's see, we did, what, 10, 10 eggs? I'd say one for every three eggs should be enough. One for one sausage for every three eggs is probably plenty, okay? But you can adjust it as needed. If you like more, go ahead and put more. If you like less, put less. There's no set rule for how much of what you need to put in here. All right, the sausage stuff already has um, quite a bit of salt to it, so you don't really need to um, put a whole bunch of salt in this. But I'll usually season it with salt, pepper, and then I'll eat it with like soy sauce or maggi sauce. I like to use maggi sauce, but uh, it just depends what your flavor taste preferences are. I've known a lot of people to eat fried eggs with like Maggi sauce, which I don't know. I kind of feel that's weird. I just use salt and pepper. So everyone has different tastes. You do what you do. You do what you like. But if you want to try it this way that I'm making it, you can go ahead and copy me. But this is way too much sausage. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I already cut it all up. I'm just going to dump it all in and see what <laughs> see what happens. At least it'll be cooked. All right. So there we go. We got plenty of sausage here. Okay. Dump this all in there. All right, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, look at that. All right, so now we're just gonna pour this egg water mixture in. Okay, actually, if you want, you can put salt and pepper. You can do it before or after, it doesn't matter. Just pour this all in. Okay. There we go. That's 10 eggs with two cups of water. Obviously, depending on the size of your eggs, you might use a different amount of water, okay? So again, don't just copy uh, what I'm doing because it's not going to come out exactly the same. All right, you can see all the Chinese sausage in there. Okay, and we're going to have to cover this with plastic wrap, and then we'll microwave this, and we'll just keep checking on it until it looks ready, okay? So it's similar. If you don't want it, you can leave it like gloopy if you want, but usually you cook it till it's cooked all the way through. Okay, let me get some salt and pepper and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and center this. All right, so we're going to put salt, pepper, and then we're going to cover it. And yeah, so just grind a bunch of pepper in there. Again, put as much as you want. You decide it's your food. All right. I don't really measure it. I just go stir it up and go, uh, that looks about right. 
All right. You can also salt and pepper it separately. All right. Probably needs a bit more. All right. There's that. And I usually will put the uh, Maggi sauce at the end after it's done cooking, okay? So I don't cook it with the sauce. All right, then we'll add in some salt here. All right, you add what you want. And stir it all together. Chinese sausage in there. Probably gonna cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see how long it takes. Stir this all up. <clears throat> all right, oops, I spilled some. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in the microwave. I'll see you guys there. All right, so there it is in the microwave. Let's go ahead and put 10 minutes and then we'll just keep an eye on it. All right, let's go. All right, so it's been about five minutes, you can see, and it's oops, getting all inflated up. You can actually even stop it, take a look. You'll see it's inflated. It'll go down a little bit and then you can go ahead and do it, continue. Um, you wanna be careful with this because the if you let it cool down, <laughs> The film is gonna like suction down and then smush the whole thing. So you see I, I'm like pulling it up, but be careful when you pull this up because it'll be very steamy. But while it's cooking, it inflates so it shouldn't be an issue. So we'll continue. It's very watery inside still. I don't know if you saw it like when I was moving it. So we'll continue. We might have to add another five minutes, we'll see. All right, so the rice is already at keep warm. I don't know if it's actually done. Uh, it's still going a bit. We'll leave it for about at least 10 more minutes and then we'll be back. All right, about an hour and a half left. Let's go ahead and stop it again. You can see it's suctioning down. We're gonna go ahead and let it open so that it doesn't suction on top of the egg. Okay, you can see if you jiggle it, the middle is still very jiggly. So it's definitely going to be liquidy inside still but you can see all right I think it should be okay if like it doesn't need to be fully cooked all the way through we're gonna let it continue and I might add another one or two minutes it seems almost done okay so I'll add another minute and I think we should be good by the time that's finished you can see it's exploding all right it's almost done a few more seconds Pop it out. All right, jiggle it. Seems pretty wiggly jiggly. Let's go ahead and pull the plastic off. Let it air out a bit. Okay, we'll let it air out and then we'll add on the Maggi sauce. If it needs more cooking after, we could always cook it more after, but yeah. All right, that's what it looks like for now. All right, you can see it deflated a bit as it sat and cooled a little. Also, if you're wondering Maggi, what Maggi sauce is, some people call this Maggi, I call it Maggi. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll get some out and then we'll give it a try. All right, also the rice should be done, so let's go ahead and take a look here as well. Okay, so here it is. Let's go ahead and scoop one of these out. I'm only gonna grab half of it. I don't know if you could see how soft the casing is. It kind of just broke apart. And then we'll get some of this rice that has the nice Chinese sausage flavor also in it. All right, so we'll get some of that and then let's go ahead and try that and the eggs. All right, so here we have the egg with the Chinese sausage. Okay, Oop. all the rice is stuck to the spoon. Let's just scoop some out. All right, so I'll scoop this out. You can see how it's like nice and fluffy. Okay, and again, usually I would Eat this with either soy sauce or maggi sauce. I like to use the maggi sauce. Okay. 
but normally I would pour it on top of there, but I'll just pour a little on here. Okay, I'll do that. Oops, that was too much. <laughs> I don't know if you were even able to see. Whoops, it's out of camera. All right, give me a second, I'll be back. All right, I'm back, sorry about that, got a phone call. All right, let's give this a try. So first, the plain one without any sauce or anything, just steamed in the rice cooker. Mm-hmm. Sweet, savory, salty. Mm-hmm, it's actually nice and soft. Mm. with the egg. What it looks like. Mm. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't need that much um, pepper, <laughs> but it's really good. All right. Yeah, with the Maggi sauce or Maggi sauce, whatever you want to call it. It's really nice. You can actually see the salt on the outside of the <laughs> other one. Mm. Mm hmm. Very simple, easy to make. Yeah, very nice meal. All right, obviously, if you want, add some veggies or something. Mm -hmm. Goes good with some stir-fried vegetables, but just simple like this, very nice. All right, that's pretty much it. Definitely recommend this. Obviously, you can steam it the way they said. You can use a steamer. Um, some people like will even wrap it in saran wrap and just microwave it a bit. If you do that, you don't need to microwave it that long. Some people worry that the plastic is touching the food. I mean, the plastic touched the top of this. So do what you think, whatever you want. Um, you can put like a lid that hopefully doesn't touch it. But yeah, it comes out really good. Tastes really nice. Not really much else to say. Very simple to prepare. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.